Sitting everybody to get jump ropes if there's 60 kids in class. <coughs> yes, sir. So one person will do it. I know. I'm going to get back to the You saw what happened right there, huh? What, with the fight? Everybody won. Oh, you okay. Know. But it doesn't matter when you only have 10 people, but you only have 60. Out.
for partner gym rooms, like side by side? Yeah, they have to roll them around their hand if they're going to do that, or they can use some of the bigger single ones. All right, we're going to do partner gym rooms. First, we're going to do side by side. Like, take them up a bit because they're too big. All right, what's going to happen here? Y'all all pay attention. This way. Pay attention this way. What's going to happen is, the first one is going to be side by side. So you're going to wrap it around your outside hand. And y'all basically going to get side by side. And then we're, gonna, we're both, y'all all going to jump in unison, and then y'all just going to jump rope. So. You have to jump at the same time. <laughs> just like that. Just and there's a white goal. So. Okay, got it? Alright, one more demonstration. Okay, do like that. So begin. Uh, Felix, he is part of your class. I told him to double and do the same thing. So just keep an eye on him. Yes, sir. He's a good one. Because you do have kids that are really injured, or they, they have handicaps and they can't do things, so you want to have an alternate activity for them, and not just leave them out. That makes sense, son? Huh? It does. Look at this coordination. Alright. Now, we're going to do the same thing, but instead we're going to do it back. We're just going to put the rope in the front now.
Do, do it together. Highlight right. right, if he's in target, acceptable, unacceptable, in all of the areas. And you may not be able to. Which is exactly what it says. You're going to stand one behind the other. If one person's going to swing, and then you're going to jump in unison, and then y'all both just jump as he swings. But the person behind, make sure y'all say go to where the front guy knows when to jump. This is fun. Yeah. Right. Here's a demonstration. Very nice, very nice. All right, the next one we're going to do is the same thing you're going to do the One's going to swing and one's going to jump in. Simple. You want to try it out? She will have to decide to jump. 
now we're gonna move over to the play wrestling. So everybody jog up over here. Get in. Leave me off the shelf. Jump over the play on. Drop. I think we all, we need to pick up our equipment and move them off the floor because you might have other people in PE from other classes run across there. Right, and, right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Remind me. You always make them bring those ropes and put them in your arms or something like that. You get them to hang over so far on the floor. Oh, what's not a stage you don't leave them on the floor because you've got other PE classes that you have kids that don't listen to you sometimes and they can run across those. So. Oh, Felix is doing fine. I mean, he's. I love his pickup. He's doing good. Now we're going to play wrestling. Oh yeah, you you no you can't. Um, go help them. Okay. <laughs> All right. First, what we're gonna do is uh, so you guys stay with your partner. Do it for me. All right. Eat one group here. Get back home. Taylor and Trey, y'all come here. Get this car. Y'all can come here. The first one we're gonna do is turn the turtle. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. First one y'all gonna do is turn the turtle. One's gonna get on all fours. Oh, yeah. So one. Group partner, get on all fours. And the other partner is going to turn him until he's flat on his back. Very simple. And, and the other person's trying not to get turned? Yes. Yes, so don't get him, let him put so you on your back. Came, so you have to try and not let him turn. So what I'm going to do is to demonstrate, to demonstrate, I'm going to try and turn him on his back, and he's going to try and restrict me from turning him. Basically. All right, I'll try it out. I've for two years, so I know how to do it. Can they get to their feet? Must they stay on their knees? They have to stay on their knees. On all fours. Yeah. Well, that should be interesting right there. <laughs> Getting better. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, All right, y'all switch now. Switch it up. <laughs> All right, begin. Okay, so your lesson's halfway over with. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to stay on the mat. Hey, you won. Come hold my camera so I can go turn my my alarm off. Yeah. 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 Alright, right, the next one we're going to do is squat wrestling. Can we switch more teaching? What's going to happen is demonstrate that means that uh, you're going to squat, we all going to grip each other at the ribs. And basically all y'all going to do is rest with each other, trying to get each other all balanced. So y'all just going to, y'all can move around as well. So you have to try and knock each other all balanced. <laughs> All right, go right along. All right, begin. Overzealous, then that's the kids you need to stand close by, right? Because you're going to have to stop them all. And don't turn your back to anybody else. Anybody get an see, he keeps walking in the middle. And, and so he has no control over the. And that's typical beginning mistakes that are done. I need to get that man out of the middle and keep him on the perimeter. 
Because his back is always at some point. Go tell that to him. Okay. Alright. Rooster wrestle. Yeah. Rooster wrestle. 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 So, to demonstrate. So y'all move around. All you have to use is y'all shoulders. Also, if they step off the mat, it's over with two. We should do a championship. So it's kind of like sumo wrestling, right? Can we do like a running one? Okay. <laughs> All right, begin. Try it. Try it. Try it. Yeah, this should be interesting. Most men win. Okay, stop. Okay. Okay, stop. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, what okay. Pull, and let's pull our mats apart and make each one a little island and then we have more safety issue. See this lesson's given us all kinds of good stuff, isn't it? Rachel, get out of the middle of the thing. Try it again. Oh, Okay, if he's constantly getting drilled by the bigger kid, then what are you going to do so he gets some positive reinforcement? What could you do? Switch partners. Make one of the, you know, like make him come over here with somebody. Yes, but I mean. So. Right. Then, then this way, at least he has some kind of. You make them all rotate around if they. But you need to stay over there, close to the big guy, because he's the one's going to knock everybody off the. Yes, there he goes. Yeah, just don't turn your back to anybody. Good, good, good. Yeah. And if your hand comes off your ankle, you're done. You have to keep it on your ankle. Felix is so used to coaching, he likes to stay in the middle. But he, see, we would not have 10 kids, we'd have 30, 40 kids. Can't be in the middle. He's just thankful that wrestling is over with. See if, see if he gives you a shot. Um, Y'all can be outfielders. Spence. You can play outfield, just don't, I don't want you running bases. So, see, I mean, it's difficult making the, the, the ball decisions, and there's so much, like, with the first part of the sentence here, but the second part here, like, you know, the, the first part of this class was, like, harder, and then safety-wise, the, the, Wrestling and they really lost the key. And that's why I do this at the end. Right? Yeah. But you're just doing this to kind of keep track of stuff. Yeah. So when you go through and talk, you say the first part is target, the second part is not really acceptable. Because he's like, because I know, you know, like, I'm going to be acceptable. So I just want to say it's all like, it's all like, it's all like, it's all like, and you write notes on it. You know, in, in eight people. And then that way in this class, then you get, you can do the clean trips. You know, for the grade. I'm just trying to see what I can see. Alright, pay attention. Okay. I'm going to give a little description of the game. It's a little more complicated. And then 
This is continuous cricket. All right, there's three ways to get out in cricket. The first way to get out is if you're going to have a bowler. So one of y'all is going to have to be a bowler since y'all on the field first. And y'all are going to hit or bowl from this spot. Y'all see? And when y'all bowl, it's simple. You can have a running start or you can stay in there, whatever y'all want to do. You just lock your elbow out and you have to. The thing is with this, though, you have to bounce it in front of the wicket. The wicket is the trash can. So you're just going to bounce it in front. The wicket in front of the trash can. It'll bounce so like It'll here. Bounce, also, right, right here. And, and if you hit the wicket before he hits the ball, he's out. That's one way to get out. The next way to get out is if you do hit it, you have to pick a way, right or left. And you have to keep running back and forth around the base <laughs> until the bowler gets the ball and hits the wicket. Then you're out, all your runs count, but then you're out. And the trick is, you have to get the bat, the bat to the next person as quick as possible. But as soon as the bowler gets the ball back, you can start again, trying to hit the wicket on a bounce. So you can run multiple times and multiple score times more. Around. Are you running with the bat? And you have to hold on to the bat. Yes. Okay, what I want to do is hit it and give it to him and then start running. No. No, you hold on to the bat. Hold on to you hold on to the bat. Yeah. Once, once the bowler gets you out, once the bowler gets you out, once the bowler gets you out, then you hand the bat. Okay. And then you have to get in place because the uh, roller can throw whenever you want. Oh, but, okay. but if you let go of the bat, you're out. You so have to get out closer. Right. Look, let's, right, let's start and this let's not uh, not keep score. You know. All right, let's demonstrate not keep score. All right, who's gonna be the bowler? I'm down. Everybody else. Look, we need one of you back here to throw. And you're not, because I mean, they, if, if they throw it and they miss the wicket, yeah, don't you hurt your neck. All right, don't hit it too hard. Nice and much. Okay. All right, push it. Like this, lock your elbow out. So let's see a And then, just say he hits it. Just say he hits it. Now, you start running around the base. Now, once the ball gets back to you, you have to try and hit the wicket. And that, so that, he didn't make it back. So. So he, didn't make, he didn't make it back, so there's no points. But if he would have made it back, no, it didn't have points. Points. or he just got to hit it. He just gotta hit it we're, we're just going to hit it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, also, hold your bat like you're holding a golf club. Yeah, you're going to hit it okay. like this. Okay, because if he throws it and he hits the wicket, you, can, you need to protect your wicket with your bat. Right. Okay? Oh, okay, so you're saying... Yeah, hold You're it down. Okay. okay. That's it. Here we go. All right, so let's try it out. <laughs> and that's why you got Nakaven the back there to get the ball, in case you miss. And that's a modification of the rules. <laughs> well, I'm not laughing at you. Really, I'm not. <laughs> I would not ever laugh at my students, would I? You laugh at their actions. No running, Spence. Hey, girls, go, go, go get the ball. Look, you keep running. You keep running. You score as many. Oh. Oh, he dropped the bat. Boy, are they lucky. <laughs> they are very lucky. I don't think we're going to make them British anytime soon, do you? He is modifying the rules a little bit from real cricket because there's actually two wickets and you could hit either. Mm -hmm. 
Morgan's got it. She's got it. You can't, when you throw it, your arm's got to be straight. Right, it's yeah. It's a bowler. It's like, yeah. I want, I, I've seen some videos on it. I don't use the all time, but I was like, Yeah, you got to keep, it's like a windmill, like a windmill. The fact that they catch them, they but don't the, use gloves, huh? or they have like a little palm. Yeah. And, and there's 11 men on the team, and they bat until everybody's batted. Right. A game can uh, last three days. Yeah, that's, yeah, okay. Man, they got to cut so, that off. That's an all day event. Yeah, it's all day for three days. <laughs> well, I don't want to be a fan. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we're not playing with the baseball because they actually wear protections and all down their leg. Like yeah, oh, yeah, they got shin guards and stuff. Yeah. We're to block it up back here. We're going to be a wall. Let's go. We're trying to hit that uh, trap there. Go get We're it low. All beginners, are Get it low. Oh, well, here it comes. <laughs> no. That don't work anyway. It, it, I don't know that N counts. We didn't to say, did we? I, I guess it won't. I guess we can count it. I mean, it is. Because it's really three little sticks that stick up, you know? Get the, and there's no penalty for hitting the player. That ball, that ball's pretty heavy too, huh? Yes, it's like a baseball. Oh, okay. it's hard. It's got. I've you know, seen it before. It looks like a croquet ball. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if it was like that. Yeah, and they just say, that's why the they get pretty. So. Oh, you get a running. <laughs> he scores. Keeps going. Keeps going. Will he miss again? Is someone running for him? Okay. So basically, I hit a grand slam. Yeah, basically. Try not to let it go to your head. You were going to have a pinch runner, wouldn't you? I mean, if you're yeah, going to That's what I said. I was, that's why I didn't go next because I wanted him to rest. Protect your wicket. If he'd have hit that wicket, you'd have been out.
Softball's gone. They've gone on trip. So we're wrestling, and then Wednesday we'll stay. We're playing continuous cricket. We don't have time to get the mat.